going on guys welcome back to the channel third an oil change on the uh, three valve here 2005 supercharged my assistant for once um first thing you want to do is put up on jack stands and the second thing you want to do is locate the oil pan and the oil pan drain port all right assistant go right ahead loosen that plug up lefty loose and righty tidy it's a 16 millimeter Maybe. <laughs> Some people like to use impacts on these and over torque them. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not doing this. This ain't going anywhere. There you go. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, think about subscribing. I would appreciate that. If this gives you uh, some help, give me a thumbs up, or if I fight the car, give the video a thumbs up. So I want the oil drain out. Now, the guy we got the car from had already done this to check for metal shavings and the oil, um, but we wanted to double check that uh, it was all out before we go ahead here and fill it back up and do a, a filter on it. Um, Normally, right now, if you have greasable ball joints and tie rods, you want to grease those, but we don't, so we're not going to waste your time because you're not going to grease. Um, that's a 16 from the factory, so you'll need that in ratchet or a wrench. Um, when you tighten these down, you don't need to tighten them down so tight you can't get them back out. Just Please a little don't. nice and tight and be done. My assistant's first time working a car, or not. <laughs> She's doing good though, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then make sure you got an oil filter. We use uh, usually motorcraft parts here, so. Oh yeah, oil filter. For any four six five four six eight six two engine is right there in the FL eight twenty S. If you have a three fifty one or a three hundred two Windsor engine on a truck or Explorer that has oil cooler, you will have that as well. Um, so you want this trickle down? I'm gonna grab her some paper towel quick while that trickles out. And uh, again, supercharged four six three valve here. Um, Oh, I don't want to sing a little weird like that for her, but. Now he's got oil. We use 5W30 just because of the fact. I think it's better for these engines than 520. All right, that's what we plug back in. Want some paper towel? Nope. No. If you're new to doing oil changes, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And uh, make sure it fingers in first before you just go with the uh, ratchet. And if you're not comfortable going underneath a vehicle, then don't. Take your car somewhere and don't risk your safety or health to try and save a couple of bucks. I mean, tighten down. You should torque it down, but, uh, you know, we, we don't have time for that, so. A couple of good cranks and... Okay. That should be good. All right. I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to wipe off the drain plug and oil pan with oil's on there so it's nice and clean. All right, very good. Okay. Anyone got the oil filter? Sorry. <laughs> Just blinded my assistant here. We're going to grab an oil filter wrench and a drain plug and loosen up your oil filter. Oh. Yep, it's going to go on just like that. And then, oh, I'm sorry, I'll get turned around my bed. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, there you go. And 
and then you want to move it up to the top and it'll start to suck on it. If you pull it closer towards the end of it, that'll work out fine. Like just a little down more. Yep. And then what you want to do is kind of hold it there, okay, and then pull it down a little bit. There you go. Got it. And then that's how that works out. And uh, try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it might be tight. I don't know how tight they put that on there, but I guess Hulk Hogan had did the oil change on this last and just uh, cranked the crap out of everything on here because. You all make sure the next person can the oil change. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully on your car at home, it's not this tight. That is way over torqued on there. Whoever did this was like Hulk Hogan or freaking somebody just stupidly strong. All right. Oh. Move the pants and spill them. Oh, okay. All right. I don't I'll pull the filter out and do that. Yeah, let me do it untwist it first. My friends talking on the video so they know at home. Listen. My assistant here is uh, very, very, very nice. This is actually her car, not mine. So that's what she's working on, not me, because it's not my vehicle, so she can do all the work. <laughs> all right, you can shove it in there. All right, and then you want to grab your new filtration device. And you always want to double check where the oil filter housing is, that there's no gasket on there. I can tell there's not. It should be nice and clear and silver, or clean, or whatever you want to call it. You want to put a little bit of oil on the gasket there. Um, should use new stuff, but this is faster. And we don't know if this motor's any good, but you guys at home use new oil, engine oil and put on there. Don't use used stuff. We're doing this is to see if the motor's any good. It's got a, some kind of knocking noise to it. So, and then normally you want to pre-fill the filter, but this engine, the filter sits at a 45. So if you try to fill it up, it'll probably leak out. So we're just gonna say, forget about it. But if you have a filter, that is uh, straight up and down vertical. Fill it up first with some oil. So you don't get a dry start and uh, go from there. But uh, um, this isn't working. You sure you got the right filter? Yeah, it's a Ford filter, right? It's an 820S. Now we gotta tighten it up to the right. Righty tighty left to DC people. <laughs> I'm an accountant, not a mechanic. <laughs> This is how you learn, though, so those of you at home, clockwise is to tighten, counterclockwise is to loosen. Um, every Quit farting. I'm not. Every oil filter I've good. ever loosened or tightened has been uh, normal. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, so make sure these nice and snug. It'll be super tight, but tight enough for it's not going to fall off and drive the car. Turn that around. There you go. That's right. That's right. No, other way. There you go. Yes. I'm getting there. No, that's going to loosen it. No, no. Turn that back up. Put it on just like how you have it like that. No. Okay, you want this toward the bottom. So when you tighten it. What? Right? Okay, never mind. This is what happens when women, you let them do stuff. <laughs> you dick. I know my videos are normally more professional than this, but you gotta have something from fun sometimes. That's gonna loosen it. You know what? What are you? You're not. Turn it. This, this needs to go on the bottom, so turn it to the bottom. Okay. No, 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 to the bottom. Just turn it this all the way down six o'clock, like that. Turn it this way now towards me, so it sits like this. That's how you'll tighten it down. Now, this is why women in the workplace don't make the same money as men, because we get stuff done quicker. Just kidding. <laughs> I 
plug a whole bunch of thumbs down from women's rights people now. So if you're a woman watching this, I apologize. But sometimes jokes are funny. You're a dick. <laughs> that should be good. Don't be super tight. It's, it's still funny. Okay. So if you're still watching this, thank you. And uh, hopefully you're subscribed. And if not, think about it because uh, I appreciate that. And uh, this is just one of the first videos of this car. We'll be doing more of these, probably a little more professional down the road, but it's been a long day, so. All right. Now, you want to pull your stuff up from right the car. You a funnel in there, crank open your oil, and dump it on in. Four or six engines take six quarts of oil. It does not matter if you have a two valve, three valve, or a four valve, they all take six quarts. You want to dump them on in there and uh, fill it on up. And that's basically all there is to it. And then, you know, lower the vehicle down. I don't want to spend tons of time lowering it down because we're fired up with it on stands anyway. Um, But uh, yeah, so that's all for now. And uh, we'll finish this up. That's all you gotta do. Then double check when you're on the car that you have no leaks and that your level's in the cross hatches and you should be good to go. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.